The Pre-Sonics Faderport has been my go-to mixer in the studio for a few years, but it was time to upgrade, so I'll show you what I got. Out with the old and in with the new. The Behringer X-Touch 8 fader situation. <laughs> well, it has nine faders with the master included. Here's what I like about the Behringer X-Touch DAW controller. First thing is I like all the buttons, the lights, and everything when it's plugged up in the studio, it looks really nice. Sitting on your desk, it looks fresh. It looks dope. Can't say it enough, it looks good. You have the multicolor scribble script windows here on each channel. You have the lit jog wheel. One thing I really like is the LED metering that you have for each individual channel. When you got things spread out, that looks really dope. The other thing I really like about the X-Touch is the way it's built. It's built like a tank. It sits really good on a desk. Real heavy and nice, it's not gonna slide around your desk or anything like that. It it's solid, super solid. The faders are smooth. The fader knobs are nice and wide. Real smooth faders, I like that, I love it. The build quality on this thing is great. And speaking of the faders, the spacing of the faders, which are not something that people really look at, the spacing of the faders on the Behringer X-Touch is good. I'm gonna compare it to the PreSonus fader port, and I looked at that one at the store. The fader port faders are really close together. If you got hands like these, that doesn't work. That was one of the things that brought me to make a decision on getting the Behringer X-Touch as opposed to the PreSonus fader port was the spacing of the faders, the size of the knobs, and actually the smoothness of the fader motors themselves. Another thing I like about the Behringer X-Touch system is that it can grow with you. The Behringer models come in a single fader model. It comes in a nine fader, which would be eight faders here and one master. It also comes in an X-Touch extender, which is just eight faders, so it's basically this section here. And the reason I bring that up as a point that I really like about this system, say you start with a single fader model and you wanna grow. A year or two from now, you want more faders in the studio as you grow and, and produce and do more stuff. You can buy that extender and grow your studio and grow your channels of, of physical channels that you have sitting on your desk. Unlike the PreSonus model where you only got three models. You got the single fader, you got the eight fader, and then you got the 16, they make a 16 model. Those are cool, don't get me wrong. But if you think you're gonna go past that 16, the Behringer X-Touch is the way to go because you have that extender model that can grow with your studio. One last comparison to the PreSonus model that really pushed me over to get this one was the transport layout. This little situation right here. Regular, classic, record, play, stop, rewind, fast forward. On the PreSonus model, they got this weird layout now where the a few buttons are in a semicircle, play button is dead center. It's just weird. <laughs> So basically, in this situation, if it ain't broke, don't break it. Okay, and turn this around. The rear connection is on the back. You got your power plug, of course. You have an ethernet for your remote. You have two USB hubs here, or USB ports. You have two USB ports here. You have a USB MIDI connection, which actually goes from here to your computer. You have the old school MIDI. I mean, why not? The reason I bring up these rear connections, the main thing is the USB hub here. So once you connect this one to your computer, you have two additional USB hubs to either have one go out to your extender or one go out to a hard drive or any combination like that. These function as a regular standard USB hub. All right, so that's my quick review on the Behringer X-Touch MIDI controller for your studio, your DAWs. If you're in the market for one, I would really suggest this one. If you're going between the PreSonus and the Behringer X-Touch, I personally will tell you to get this one. You won't go wrong, especially it's future-proof. If you ever wanna grow your studio and get more physical faders. That was it, real quick, Behringer X-Touch. If you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up and hit the notification for future videos. I'm Mr. Preezy. Until next time, you know what it is. I'll see you.